Even though the rest of the world is getting ready to use self-driving cars, India still has a long way to go. A policy decision is just one of the many things that self-driving cars have to get over before they can zoom into India. It is predicted that by 2030, 25% of all cars on the roads around the world will be self-driving cars. Advanced technology and sensors help driverless cars stay safe on the road. Because these cars have a lot of video cameras, sensors, and AI installed, they can read road signs and find the edges of the roads, traffic signals, and other cars. All of this information is sent to a central control system, which uses it to steer and move the vehicle safely away from other cars. There is a lot of R&D work going on around the world right now. Companies like Google, Tesla, Mercedes, Ford, Nissan, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and many more are leading the way by using the latest technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics engineering. Self-driving technology is also being tried out by a lot of startups in India. However, there are a whole bunch of problems that India needs to solve before self-driving cars can be sold there. Let's have a look at these. India's government has made it clear that they don't want driverless cars. The main reason they give is that people would lose their jobs. The government says that there are 40 million drivers in the country but there are only 25 million jobs for drivers. The government doesn't want skilled drivers to lose their jobs, and they say that around a billion people could lose their jobs because of this new technology. Also, the government thinks that the country still doesn't have the infrastructure and organized driving conditions needed for this kind of technology. When compared to roads in the West, India's roads are not good for self-driving cars. Cities like Delhi and Mumbai have roads that are packed with cars at all times of the day. Also, Indian drivers don't follow the rules of the road. They don't pay attention to the signs and don't stay in their lanes. This kind of dangerous driving is not something that a driverless car is taught to anticipate. There are problems with the economics of putting driverless cars on the road in India. Companies are skeptical about the market and the huge costs of research and development. Even worse, KPMG's 2019 Autonomous Vehicle Readiness Index put India 24th out of 25 countries when it came to how ready they were for self-driving cars. Big steps are being made in the world. The Netherlands came out on top of KPMG's 2019 Autonomous Vehicle Readiness Index, and it is now putting more than 100 self-driving trucks on major roads in groups called platoons. China is on track to sell its self-driving cars to the public by 2025. Autonomous vehicles are already being used in Singapore, Norway, Finland, Germany, Sweden, and the US. Aside from the Netherlands, the UK, France, and Australia are getting ready to pass laws that will make it easier for people to use self-driving cars. India shouldn't forget about the benefits. Even with all the problems, India can't turn its back on the idea of using self-driving cars. For one thing, they let people do more useful things with their commute time, instead of just driving. They can cut down on the mistakes that people make which are the main cause of car accidents and save lives. Driverless cars are also a great way for people with disabilities that keep them from driving on their own to get around. Self-driving cars may not be a reality on Indian roads for a while longer, but self-driving tractors and trucks are a step in the right direction. Escorts, Mahindra and Mahindra, and Flux Auto are all ready to start selling them.